Okay, so we're going to do a little demo on diffusion because the objectives we're working on are understanding diffusion and understanding concentration gradient. So we have two beakers of water. One, I heat it up just to make it a little more interesting because when water is hot, um, when you increase the temperature of a liquid, the molecules are moving more quickly and then if you have a liquid that's at a lower temperature. But right now we just have water um, and there's no concentration gradients in that water right now so there is no diffusion. That means that there is no area of high concentration and low concentration so there are no molecules diffusing from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So I'm going to create some concentration gradients right now by adding some food coloring to the beakers. And I have the hot and cold just to make it more interesting, just so you can see the rate at which these molecules will diffuse. I'm going to um, put them in, and once I put them in, I will be creating a concentration gradient because there will be a high concentration where the dye enters the water and a low concentration in the other parts of the beaker. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. It's not going to be exactly the same time, but you'll be able to see the difference in the rate of diffusion. Now I'm adding yellow. So I'm actually creating four different concentration gradients at once. I've created a concentration gradient for the red dye molecules, I've created a concentration gradient for the yellow dye molecules. I've created a concentration gradient of blue dye molecules and green dye molecules. So there are actually four different concentrations here, and they are each diffusing from the area where they are more highly concentrated to area where they are less concentrated. That is the definition of diffusion. But in order for a diffusion to happen, there has to be a concentration gradient. There has to be an area where there is a higher concentration of the molecule and an area where there is a lower concentration. And if that exists, and the molecules can move freely from that area of higher concentration to area of lower concentration, diffusion will occur. And if I were to leave this beaker, in a couple hours this beaker will catch up to the hot water beaker. It's just taking longer because the molecules are moving more slowly and colliding into each other. All right. Ooh, that just fogged my camera up. So a really quick demonstration of diffusion by creating concentration gradients. This one is hasn't reached equilibrium yet, but is getting there very quickly. This one is not. I can give an example from earlier. This was one I used last week. And as you can see, this one has reached equilibrium. There's no longer a concentration gradient of any of the dye molecules. They are all equally distributed in the beaker. Therefore, diffusion is no longer occurring. The molecules are still moving and colliding with each other, but there is no net movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Thank you very much.